we're here in Brussels after a very interesting um, roundtable on the future of comprehensive uh, care and outcomes. I think it was a very, very interesting uh, conversation and there were two main themes uh, that I got out of them. And I, I think the first one is about the transition through different uh, type of uh, therapies that we're going from current therapies um, to novel non-replacement uh, therapies to gene therapy and all of these require completely different um, outcome measures um, and this completely changes the entire landscape uh, and I think this was a very good um, conversation, a very good roundtable on what are these different um, ways of looking at uh, the outcomes um, and the second theme was the role of um, comprehensive centers comprehensive care centers in this landscape, in this changing landscape. Because I think that um, with the novel therapies, um, for sure the, the quality of care will increase, um, but in the same time it might put some um, pressure on discrediting uh, the, um, the centers because uh, you know results are going to be better, so there might be no need uh, the relevancy of these centers is going to be questioned. Um, but in fact, it's quite the opposite, that they become more relevant, especially because they need to answer to completely new outcome measures and to find them and to deal with, uh, with the expertise needed for, uh, for these novel therapies. So I think we're, we're, in, we're in very interesting times where uh, the landscape of hemophilia care um, is changing drastically. And we need to look at, at these um, outcome measures and the relevancy of the comprehensive care centers.